sometimes in the landscape can be very hard to get an exposure. So you've got to find somewhere where a road or a railway crossing cuts through the landscape and exposes some of the geology along the edge. And here, This is uh, Lake Cretaceous, so we've got a chance of getting mostly marine because this is a slightly shallow marine, but you'll also sometimes you do get bones of dinosaurs wash out into the shallow marine before they get buried. This sediment you can see has got the green colour of the typical the glauconite rich um, sediment, it's the sandstone that a greenish colour and that's a, one of the signs of it being uh, laid down in a shallow marine environment. Lots of fish bones, shark teeth, a very rarely dinosaur. Not sure what it is, possible crab claw. It's hard to tell, so need some preparation. And we should be able to tell what it is. It's found on the floor of this wall over here. So just looking at all the eroded material, trying to find little fragments such as the one I just found. So again, just on the floor of the quarry. It's probably just a shell fragment. Wall again. A little tooth just poking out of the wall. There's the fat bit. This was the end, right? So this bit. That bit. So that goes about. I think that. Yeah. There. There. And this bit. very well. But anyway the point is the concretion should be very circular or lumpy. That's quite long. It's got a bone like texture on the outside. But it's a bit 
hard to tell what it is because it's sort of lumpy. But lumpy bones with little dimples on it, they can be like the bottoms of jaws. So if you turn it over on this side, you should see, you know, maybe some, some tooth rows, some, some holes. And you actually do have some dimples that could have been tooth holes. But the other interesting thing is this here, this is a bit of bone that's missing or broken off. But this is round, you see this is rounded? Yeah. So it's a, it, it could be a bone that's then you know, broken and then it's tumbled quite a bit before it got buried. So it could actually be a big bone fragment. And it could be a big bone fragment for anything. And what's interesting to me is if it was a marine reptile, this, if this was bone in here, this, these, these cavities would be quite big, quite coarse, because in the water, that's just what they had, the really spongy interiors. But to be solid like this, you know, that's something bigger, like a, potentially like a dinosaur, like a duckbill's head, infills like that. Not theropods, not pterosaurs, that, that was hollow in there, or, or quite, again, very big coarse parts. So yeah, I think you'd need to clean it up and reconstruct it. We'd better pick up the other bits that might have come out of the hole too. We'll try and put it back together. Oh, I think that was... So, um, another possible tooth fragment, or tooth just in general, or is it right there? So, um, let's pick it up. Uh, drop it. Nice. So yeah, as you can see, it's not very hard. What you do is just look around and all this. I mean, I have been walking all over it, but you can still find teeth in it. Not very big teeth, but hopefully we can find a big one. There has been a few things found here. There's an Allosaurus toe bone found here on the other wall. And um, uh, much bigger shark teeth have also been found here. So hopefully, Okay, so just on the wall, um, shark tooth, this or oh, fish tooth, but this time with the root coming out the bottom of it. It's the first time we found the root on a tooth. Here, do you want to take this? There it is there, Sweet. that's super nice. Cap Holy crap. Really careful. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Epic. Did that just break off? No. Boom, look at that. Nice. Lovely. So on the yeah, other wall over there. <laughs> So this was uh, found on the ground, on the slope, bottom of the weathered slope. There's this, you can see the tiny one. Mm, it's the biggest shark to go on. That's okay. it's on the other wall now. Right down here. Found probably the biggest tooth we've ever had. And the problem is then I forget to take them off. And then I'm not sure what it's from. But really great find. Yeah, some sort of shark. Just keep looking through here. Find a bunch more. So here we are. We're just about to leave, as you can tell by the muffin food being consumed during prospecting. That's the epic paleos. What do you found? Looks like the real two. This one. Or it'll be yeah, the yeah, corner yeah. of a muscle shell. Yeah. Which is still sort of cool because it's about a 95mm muscle yeah. shell. Oh, and there's this too. There's another muscle yeah. shell up there. It's about to take a bite of this one. A uh, shell or two? I don't know. It's a shard. I think it's probably a shell. Yeah. Still cool. Yeah. That would have been food for the stingrays of the day. Yeah. Maybe they would eat from that.